fixed asset inventory management system maintains all depreciable inventory items and also miscellaneous stock items. The various reports, including depreciation analysis, allow you to always know the value of your inventory. A quick start menu will be displayed when you start the program. Most of the menu options required for running the program will be displayed on the quick start menu. The menu options are also available from the top bar menu. Let's start by taking a look at the system variables form. This form can be accessed from the quick start menu and also from the system option on the top bar menu. The system variables form stores the name of the data folder containing the data files used by the system and other options for the program. The data location can be changed by clicking on the select directory button. The select directory button will allow you to navigate on your system to the folder containing the data files. Select your preference for the other choices available on the form and press confirm to save your responses. The Data Entry drop-down menu allows access to all data files used by the system. The main data entry form is the Fixed Asset Inventory File form. Let's take a look at that form. The Fixed Asset Inventory File consists of three pages. Click on the tabs at the top of the page to switch between pages. This page contains descriptive information about the inventory item. The Department can be selected from the Department file and the Vendor can be selected from the Vendor Master file. The information below the line pertains to depreciation. Extended notes can be entered on page 2 of the Fixed Asset Inventory file form. Up to two pictures can be selected and displayed on the Pictures page of the Fixed Asset Inventory form. Captions can be entered above the pictures. The Stock Inventory file form maintains small items that are not depreciated. This is the stock inventory file form. The stock inventory form can be used for inventorying small items if you are not using the more sophisticated garage and parts inventory system. The department file is used by many of the public government software modules. Assign a three character department abbreviation to identify each department. This file will enable you to keep data entry consistent when you have a need to get a departmental breakdown of your records. The department abbreviation field is stored in most of the data files. However, the stock inventory file stores the department name. The vendor master file is used by most public government software modules. It should contain a record for each of your vendors. Click on the tabs at the top of the form to go to the different pages on the form. The user file contains a list of those maintaining the fixed asset inventory system. On the maintenance menu, you may choose to right justify your inventory number or left justify your inventory number. By default, the inventory number is left justified. If you are going to right justify your inventory number, please make sure you have this option selected on the system variables form. Report selections will be displayed if you select File, Print Reports, or select Reports from the top menu. Let's first look at the Fixed Asset Inventory Reports. When you select a particular report from the menu, a selection screen will be displayed. This is the Fixed Asset Inventory Report selection screen. Here you may enter a range of values for various fields to be included on the report. You may also select a report type and the order for the report. You can send the report to the printer or the screen. You also have the option of creating a PDF file or an XLS file. I will select a report type of condensed format 1 and a report order of inventory number and click the screen button to send the report to the screen. This is a sample of a screen report. A toolbar will be displayed that will allow you to go to the top or the bottom or the next or the previous page. You may also choose to display one, two, or four pages at a time. Select a larger or smaller percentage to increase the size of the print or decrease the size of the print. You may also choose to send the report to the printer by clicking the picture of the printer. If you do not see the toolbar on your screen report, right mouse click to display a pop-up menu and left click on toolbar. 
This is the stock inventory report selection screen. The stock inventory report can be sorted by inventory ID, inventory type, department, location, or description. You can print a complete, condensed, an auditor report, or an auditor summary report. Both auditors report are sorted by location, department, and description. The inventory ID and department fields can be selected by pressing the F10 key. In this sample, I have chosen to print the auditor's report for the sign department. I'll click the screen button and send the report to the screen. This is an example of the auditor's report for the sign department. Also available on the reports menu is a department list report, several vendor reports, and vendor labels. The system menu contains the standard options found in all SoftWorks applications. SoftWorks has been working with county engineers, highway departments, and other government offices since 1984. This program is a product of the ideas and suggestions of many of our valued customers.